Hello all, this video is on sending LM35 temperature data onto a cloud server like ThingSpeak from Node MCU. The LM35 is a temperature sensor and uh, Node MCU can be easily plugged onto your breadboard. The LM35 is a 3 pin device. The first pin is uh, supply voltage 4 to 20 volts, second pin is output and third pin is ground. We'll, we'll be connecting the first pin to 3.3 volt of Node MCU. The specification of LM35 is uh, supply voltage is from 4 volt, but it operates fine with 3.3 volt. The second pin of LM35 is connected to A0, the one and only analog pin of Node MCU, and pin 3 to ground. Now let us start with the ThingSpeak. Open an account with ThingSpeak just by providing uh, your email ID and then open your account. Under channels, click on my channels and then click new channel. Provide a name for your channel. LM35 node MCU temp and then provide a description and create a field named temperature. We are going to up upload only the temperature data so we create only a single field, field 1. And then click on save changes. Now the channel is created. You can click on the API uh, keys tab to, re uh, to know the right API keys. Here you will see two keys, write API key and read API key. We will be using the write API key. Copy this uh, write API key. This should be used inside your code. Let us start the code with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h header file. The write API key is assigned to a string variable. This is the write API key we obtained from the ThingSpeak server and then we assign the SSID and password of the router to char variables. Next we assign the api.thingspeak.com URL to a char variable server. The resolution is a float variable which is assigned 3.3 by 1023. 3.3 is the supply voltage and 1023 is the maximum analog read value. We start the client object, new client object. And under setup, we start the serial monitor with 11500 baud. We disconnect any previous uh, Wi-Fi connection. And then Wi-Fi.begin uh, function is used to pass the SSID and password. We wait till the Wi-Fi dot status becomes WL connected. Until then we print a dot every 500 millisecond. Once the connection is established, we print the SSID name. The analog value at A0 is multiplied with the resolution and then assigned to a temp float variable. The resolution is 3.3 by 1023. The 3.3 is the supply voltage and 1023 is the maximum analog read value and it is assigned to the temp uh, variable. And then we use the client.connect function to connect to the server at port 80. The client.connect returns a true value if connection is established. And then we upload the data as string. As things speak will accept data only in string format, we upload the data in string format. Uh, the ts data is the string variable and we first we assign the api write key and then append the temp uh, uh, reading to the field one notice the two carriage returns at the end of the data then we use the post method to upload to the server the post request is a bundle of strings separated by new lines the first string is a message start line with three elements separated by space the three elements are post, update and HTTP version 1.1. Then follows the header fields. 
the header fields contain information uh, about post request the header fields are uh, host and then connection and x things speak the non standard header is preceded by x and then the content type the content type defines the body of http message sent to the server and the content length the size of the media sent and finally the message body separated from header uh, header fields by two new lines the two new lines indicate that data is going to follow the header uh, header fields finally we use the client dot print to send the string data to the uh, thing speak server a delay of uh, 15 seconds is uh, required for the next reading to be uploaded now let us upload the code onto uh, node mcu and then open the serial monitor set the baud rate to 115200 now you can see MC node mcu being connected to the wi-fi network and then the temperature reading is being uploaded if you touch the LM35 uh, uh, device, the temperature will increase and the current data will be uploaded. Now let us uh, place the soldering iron on uh, LM35 to increase the temperature. You can see the real time data being update uploaded. Now let us open our uh, ThingSpeak account and open our channel. LM35 node MCU temp is our channel open the channel stats to see the temperature reading being uh, printed in real time every 15 seconds the temperature data is being uploaded and it is printed as a chart thank you for watching